Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss late code question 1470 shuffle the array. So yeah, this is the easy question uh, and you might feel easy to solve this uh, by using an additional array and that approach. But today in this video we will talk uh, about bit manipulation approach. So make sure you watch the video till the end, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so now let's take a look at the equation. So here you are given one nums array containing of two of uh, two n elements. Uh, so that means this nums array would be of e1 size for any n equal to 3 or 4 or 5 2 n would is always equal that would be the size of the array that would be uh, even right now in in this nums array uh, the first n elements are x1 x2 x3 up to xn and the next uh, n elements are y1 y2 y3 up to yn so you need to shuffle shuffle the elements of the array in this way x1 y1 x2 y2 xn yn so here x1 is 2 x uh, and y1 is 3 right so x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so yeah that way we shuffled the array similarly here this is x1 and this is y1 so x1 y1 and then x2 y2 so this is how we form this array similarly here so what uh, one thing you can do is uh, one thing what you can do you can take another vector let's say result vector uh, and in this result vector you go on and fill the values right uh, this uh, fill the ith value and then uh, for the uh, means this will be x of i and for y of i you can fill 2 into i plus 1 that would be y of i right so this is how you can take a result vector and compute or hold the array but what if an interviewer asks you to solve this equation in in place so in place what does this mean that you won't be is using any additional array no additional array right so you won't use any additional array you will make uh, some changes in this nums itself and compute the answer if uh, this would be your follow-up question to solve this then how would you do so for that question we are uh, going uh, for an approach that you won't uh, use any type of additional array like result array or something we will make changes in this nums array itself uh, and uh, compute our answer right so let's for an example if you have nums array like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so this is your nums array where n equal to 4 you might have got this so yeah this is x1 x2 x3 x4 right y1 y2 y3 y4 now um see uh, there is no other no way that you can swap some of the elements and make x1 y1 x2 y2 you cannot swap them directly or nothing like that the only approach here is to use bit manipulation and we will talk about this approach right now so, so this bit manipulation approach how we would use bit manipulation right so here what we will do see uh, see as we have norms array then what if we can store like this x1 and y1 at same place 1 comma 5 then 2 comma 3 uh, sorry not 3 2 comma 6 then 3 comma 7 and 4 comma 8 and remaining are empty 1 2 3 and 4 so these 4 are empty right so in that case how we will uh, solve this uh, means this is one this is the way you will solve this question but after this what you can do see uh, you will again take this nums array so let's say you have computed something like this uh, and now you need uh, x1 y1 x2 y2 type you, now you need answer from this so what you will do is see this is the last element see as you can see the 8 would be the last element okay write it now 4 would be the last second element write 4 7 would become here then uh, before that 3 would be there right then 6 would be there 2 would be there 5 would be there and 1 would be there so what is this this is x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on so as you can see here that if you have grouped then x1 y1 x2 y2 then if you start to fill them from the end okay this way then this way then this and this now when you fill this uh, 6 into this fourth position that is filled by 4 comma 8 then it will be overwrite right so initially it was 4 comma 8 but you can overwrite it is this and write this and it doesn't matter because this 4 comma 8 is already used so this way what you can do is uh, start from the end and start filling the arrays like this way okay so this is where we uh, we can uh, solve this question right we are not using any additional array here now the only thing to note here is how to make this type of array 
वी आर कम्बाइनिंग टू टू एड ए इन वन सिंग इन वन सिंगल एलिमेंट राइट वी आर कम्बाइनिंग दिस टू एलिमेंट्स और टू नंबर्स इन वन सिंगल एलिमेंट सो हाउ यू कैन डू दैट ओके एंड दैट्स वेयर बीट मैनिपुलेशन कम्स सो हियर आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू वन थिंग द मैक्सिमम नंबर वी कैन हैव इज टेन टू पावर थ्री ओके सो इफ यू राइट टेन टू पावर थ्री इन बिट्स सो वॉट इट वुड बी इट वुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस वन 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 देन टू अदर वन देन जीरो वन जीरो 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 सो दिस वुड बी द टेन टू द पावर थ्री इन बिट्स राइट so how many bits are there so these are 10 bits so what you can conclude that we can conclude that the maximum number will take at max 10 bits so at max 10 uh, bits are used so as you can see at max 10 bits are used and an integer uh, is have how many integer will have 32 bits so uh, let's say these are the last 10 bits then again uh, so for uh, so this would be some last 10 20 and here there will be 12 bits remaining 12 10 and 10 so this this is what an integer is 12 plus 10 22 plus 10 32 32 bits right so what you can do here is in this 10 what you will do you will store the original number and in the next 10 you can store the new number right are you getting this that this is how you can store in the next 10 new number and the original 10 or in the last 10 the original number because the maximum bits and number will take would be 10 bits right so yeah what you will do is uh, let's say your initial array i uh, i will write is again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so now what you want to do you need to combine this one with this five okay now uh, let's say the this is 0 0 0 1 let me write in in four only and this is 1 0 1 right 4 plus 1 5 right okay so what you can do in the last 10 uh, so here you can combine 5 comma right this way because in the first uh, 10 uh, in the last 10 bits it would be 1 in above in the next 10 bits it would be fine so we can store it in the last 10 bit 1 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this would be the last 10 bit 10 bits and this will store 1 or we can say x of 5 in the next 10 bit what it would be 101 000 000 000 and the next 10 bit this is next 10 bit and this will store y of 5 so this way what we can do is we can store uh, two numbers in one in one single element and uh, and before that it will be always, it will be only zero so uh, this is way we can store two numbers in as a one element of the array right and in order to retrieve them see how you can get this la, uh, last uh, 10 elements so this is the first number right the first number and this is the second number so how you can get the first number again when you want to uh, place it in the array so first number would be this nums of i let's say let's say this is the new uh, nums of i so it would be nums of i and this is the b2 as n with uh, with 111111111 with the Uh, 1 0 2 3 so that means 10 times 1 so if you do bitwise and with this then you will get the last number right it is as simple as it is see you or let's say you have 0 0 0 0 0 5067890 and you need to and there is one uh, some other other numbers like this okay and you need to uh, get this then what is what would, uh, how would you mask this element so you can mask it by taking 1 1 1 1 1 10 times 1 so uh, by doing and this will be 1 One and one would be one, and everything would be zero, right? Ahead also it would be zero. So this is how you can get the last ten bits into numbers by taking uh, by doing a bit masking with this mask. Okay. And now you need second number. So how second number you will get? So to get a second number uh, that is the next ten bit, what you can do? You can simply right shift. Okay. So uh, this is the number. This is the next ten bit. You can do right shift. That is nums of i. Right shift. How many times? Ten times. so uh, you will get your answer this uh, this all the bits would be would be erased and this would be at the last and uh, uh, ahead of this it would be all zeros okay so uh, if something is like this like 0000567 no 101 and there are there are, there are some other 10 bits right then what you can do you can write shift 10 bits then it would be 101 uh 
one zero one and all this would be zero and you will get your answer right this is how you will get first number and second number and once you get the first number and second number you simply need to place it like as we did here the second number here first number here then second number then first number so i hope you guys understood the approach how we will solve this like by combining the two this two element how we will combine we will combine by using bit manipulation uh, how, how this will work by because uh, this will work because uh, uh, the biggest number will take 10 bits now we need to store uh, these numbers into like this so we will store uh, it like this means in the last 10 bits the original number in the next 10 bits the new number okay so yeah this is how we will store and to again get uh, back this number what we will do uh, for the last uh, for the first number we will just do end with 10 times 1 and the second number we will do uh, right shift okay uh, and one thing i forgot to tell you is uh, like we have number like uh, 1 and 5 and we need to combine it to make 5 comma 1 as a single number this is what single number then how you would do what you can do is let's this is the uh, x of i and this is y of i so you can do y of i left shift 10 times and do x of i or equal to y of i means this is bitwise or so by doing uh, by left shifting 10 times and doing bitwise or you will get number like this such that last 10 10 bits would be x of i and the next 10 bits would be y of i and uh, remaining would be zeros so this is how you can combine this oh i forgot that to tell you initially but i hope you guys understood the idea behind this and now let's move on to the coding part so that you will get more understanding so here uh, initially what we will do is uh, we will uh, try to iterate this nums item right and what we will do we will uh, iterate from the pack okay from i is equal to n i is less than 2 into n i plus plus it we will do i plus plus only because uh, i will sh tell you that so currently in second number uh, sec num second number would be nums of i and what we need to do we need to make it um, left shift 10 times right and then what we need to do nums of i minus n uh, equals to nums of i minus n xor nums of xor with second number right so this is how this will work uh, by so this will what it will do first this bit twice uh, sorry first this uh, left shift and then or so this will make last 10 bits original number and the next 10 bits with a new number that is y of i now after this uh, we also need one variable uh, we will take one variable all it means like minimum it is 10 ones so how to get uh, all 10 ones that would be power of 2 to 10 minus 1 so that would be 1 0 2 3 in number in decimal you can say now after again we know what we need to do is we need to put back the numbers at uh, correct position so as i told you we will start from the back then uh, uh, we will put start putting the numbers from the back so yeah this is uh, should we start from n minus 1 and we will first take we will take both the numbers second number and the first number so second number what way it would be it would be simply nums of i uh, and making it right shift 10 times as i have said you earlier and int uh, first number it what it would be it would be simply end with 10 ones right nums of i and 10 ones and then what we will do we will keep nums of 2 into i plus 1 equals to second number and nums of 2 into i it would be first num right we uh, placed y of i and x of i and simply what we will do we will return nums so uh, now let me try to run this okay now let me try to again submit this so yeah as you can see guys our code got accepted uh, now talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity would be big of n as we are traversing for n numbers and the space complexity is big of 1 we also didn't use any other vector to uh, return the result uh, so yeah it's in place solution so yeah i hope you guys understood the approach as well as solution to this question and if you have still any doubts then do let me know in the comment section so make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you